Hey, Bolo Buddies. Thanks for watching. Hey, everyone. My name is Courtney, also known as Bolo Buddies, and I'm here to share with you a bunch of bolos that sold in 10 days or less. What's a bolo? And a bolo is an item to be on the lookout for, an item you can buy low and sell for a profit. I say buy low, sell high. Um, whether that's a quarter into $25, or if that's 50 cents into $100, or so on and so forth. Profit is profit. So this one comes from my Facebook group. So what I did is I posted this in the Facebook group and invited members of the group to share their bolo that sold in 10 days or less. I hey, bolo buddies, thanks for watching. Amazing, right? All right, let's get started. I'm going to tell you where they got it, what they paid for it, and what it sold for. I'm also going to tell you how many days it took to sell. This is a great way to learn. And if you guys want to be involved, you can join my Bolo Buddies Facebook group and go to the announcements featured section and look for these posts. There's three up right now that you can share under, and you will be featured in this video. Your name will remain private. If you are a Bolo Buddies member of my YouTube channel, um, you will get a shout out to your eBay store or your YouTube channel. You ready to see some Bolos? Let's get started. All right, got this at Value Village for three bucks and it sold in seven days. It is a rare 60th anniversary Godzilla 2014 heirloom light up ornament. Ha, huh, how cool is that? 70 bucks. Paid 25 cents at a local thrift store. I have sold a bunch of these. You guys have heard me talk about them. If you watch my videos, uh, my what sold videos, I sell these all the time. Whenever I see them, I pick them up. I actually recently sold some candles, just a box of candles that go with these. A lot of times when you pick these up, they will be missing the candles. They will still sell. All right. Paid 25 cents at a thrift store, sold in about three days. These Swedish angel chimes always seem to sell. I probably should have priced this one a little higher because it could be used for Christmas or a birthday as it has a clown and horses with it. Oh, uh, sold for $20.49 and the buyer paid shipping. Bought at a garage sale for $3, sold in nine days. It is an extra large faux fur long coat. Tags all in Chinese, so I had to translate lining linen cotton wool and silk full asking of $99.01 and $15 shipping also sold a large um exact coat two weeks before in 11 days for $69.12 plus shipping it sold so fast I decided to up the price think I could have asked more but light coats were only comping around 59 so I'll take it with a six dollar investment for both so here is what it looks like <clears throat> Porch pickup, $3, six days to sell. This is a rare vintage glob ester hard case suitcase luggage retro train trunk. How cool is that? $150. Sold within a day of listing, full price asking of $34.95. Paid a dollar and the buyer paid shipping. Purchased at the Goodwill. This item comes from a Bolo Buddies YouTube member, and her eBay store is Leo's Treasures, so go check her out. Um, paid $0.25 cents a piece at a yard sale and sold in two hours. They are uh, Five Nights at Freddy's Plush, sold for $32 free shipping. Um, this was sold on Mercari. Found at a local thrift store for $0.50, cents. sold the same day as listed. Vintage Vanity Fair nude nylon bikini panties. Peekaboo lace are the keywords. And these sold for $49.99 plus shipping. And they are new with tags. Listed this less than an hour ago and sold for full asking price of 50 plus shipping. Picked up at a thrift store for $2. It appears that season two of this series is hard to find. Ha! Huh. It is Better Off Ted, the complete second season DVD. So I don't know about you guys, but I am not one to sit and scan books and media. So I can definitely like try to remember this one. <laughs> 50 bucks. Uh, this one comes from Bolo Buddies member, uh, Franklin Hill Ventures. And he recently became a moderator of the Facebook group. So check out his YouTube channel, Franklin Hill Ventures. <clears throat> 
Prior to the day I found this, I had never heard of hydro jugs. Apparently it's a fancy jug that holds a gallon of water. The jug goes inside these sleeves. Apparently they're version one or first release sleeves. I have no idea what this is are quite are worth quite a bit. When I found the comp on this, it was all I could do not to jump up and down in the store. Paid $4.99, sold in minutes. The only other listing I could find was for $650 on eBay. Thinking I may have posted too low, they sold it for $365 on Mercari. Wow, wow, wow. Never heard or seen anything like it. Wowza. Okay. Picked up a um, lot of World of Warcraft game discs and cards for $27 from a local auction. Found about 20 Pokemon cards under the Warcraft cards, so I really didn't pay anything for them. Turns out five of them were ultra rare reverse holograms and graded ones were selling for outrageous amounts. eBay just started their authentication, authentication, I'm really bad at that word, sorry, for cards. So I priced it at $750 so it would get authenticated authentic uh, and got an offer within a day sent it for authentication and it passed with flying colors sold it for four hundred dollars how awesome is that paid four dollars at the goodwill took best offer of 200 um sold in six days after a lot of 75 and 175 dollars offers I haven't been doing this very long. Just a fun hobby that makes extra money while my wife and is out of town. Her father is ill. Was a great find and I was shaking because I already knew what this hat went for. First big score. That's so awesome. 1990s vintage Houston Oilers. It's a snapback hat, you guys. So took a best offer of 200. Awesome. Okay, you guys, this one comes from Bolo Buddies member. Uh, Terry Mindful Recycle. She is also a moderator of this group, so please go show her some love with a sub. Purchase this. Um, oh, Terry Mindful Recycle. That's her channel. Purchased 39 Bratz dolls at an estate sale, all new old stock. They started making Bratz in 2001, and all of my dolls are from 2002 to 2006. Paid $10 each. This one sold in five days for $339.97, and the buyer paid shipping. So this one is back to school. Oh, wow. Nice find, right? Um, she said, I was so excited when I saw the price on the dolls. They do not all sell for this much. Most are ranging between 80 and 200, which is still a fantastic return on 10. Paid $10, got it on Facebook Marketplace, took two days to sell. 1987 official Advanced Dungeon and Dragons manual of the planes. 85 bucks. This was listed as a Bratz Yasmin, I think it's Yasmin, styling head. I listed with a question mark because I wasn't sure. After listing it, so after it sold, it sold in 20 minutes for $39 plus shipping and handling. Another Mercari person messaged me to say they go for around 200. Uh, this is actually Nevra and was very rare. I said, thanks, since I don't cancel sales, I couldn't find comps in Google Lens. After I researched by name, at the time, sold for about 200. Now last solds is 100. I researched for a long time, but it happens. This was my daughter's, so it was free to her, but definitely a bolo. So this is what it looks like. Apparently this head, this gal is worth more. Bought at the Goodwill was part of a complete advent calendar for $4.99. So selling figures individually. Sold in a few hours of listing for $19. This sold on Mercari. Mercari is a great um, selling site for toys. Legos do really good over there. If you're not selling on Mercari, definitely check it out. I do have a link down in the description. If you use my link to sign up, you'll get a coupon when you sign up. And you'll also get a coupon when you sell $100 worth of stuff. And they also shoot me over a coupon. So I would appreciate it if you use my link. Salvation Army paid $3, sold in about two weeks of listing for $58. This was a Poshmark sale. There's also a link down in the description for Poshmark if you wanna join. I also have Poshmark what sold videos and Mercari what sold videos, mainly hard goods that I do on those platforms. So those videos contain lots of hard good bolos. Uh, these sold for $58. They are vintage world-class denim lawman superior fit. I don't know. I think they're kind of funky. 
Uh, sold for 58 bucks on Poshmark. Got this for free on Nextdoor. Sold in two days on Facebook Marketplace. Asked 150. Accepted an offer of 130 plus shipping. Klaus Mueller Violin. Adult. So it's an instrument. Some instruments go for a lot of money, guys. Definitely look them up. Purchased at the Goodwill for $1.75. I had no idea what it was or its worth when I bought it. After research, I listed it that evening for $180 and woke up to an offer of $100. We settled on $130. It is a Empoli, E-M-P-O-L-I, glass-cased mushroom canister. Lidded jar, mid-century modern. That's really cool. Pretty color, right? Bought this girl's dress for a dollar at a at a, an estate sale and it sold within 20 minutes. There were no comps. When something sells that quickly, I always check to see if it's a reseller going to flip it. I do the same thing and she only sells dresses, but she hasn't listed this yet. It's been about six weeks. Disney store, Alice in Wonderland girls dress size 4T, $49.99 plus shipping. So if you have a fast sale, you can go in to the person that bought it and you can visit their store and see other listings to see um, what they sell. This has happened to me, so I have done this. Listed this while watching Philly Flipper Monday night live listing show and it sold within 10 minutes. Zero feedback, buyer paid right away, but I think I am only three to five in. Purchased at a local thrift store. Lot of seven Oriental Trading plush hand puppet. Philly Flipper is also a moderator of the group, so show him some love with the sub. Purchased at a community thrift store, several pieces were on a table. This was priced at $2, and that was color of the day with half off, so paid a dollar. Listed for $75, and it sold in 10 minutes. I was so surprised. Huff, I'm sorry, Huff, Hall, H-U-L-L, pottery brown drip found this at the bins i had no idea what it was it is really heavy probably paid around two dollars sold it within an hour of listing probably could have got more but it paid for my whole trip to the bins is 75 dollars power lifting fitness weight lifting belt thick suede leather this is what it looks like bought it in an estate sale for a dollar two weeks ago Listed at $169.99 and sold it for a best offer of $150 in less than a week. These Avon Advent calendars, they have been trending for at least a couple years. I mean, they're just not losing their value. People love these. So if you find one, definitely list it. I finally found one. I was so excited. Mine already sold. Purchased this dress at the Goodwill for $12. As my husband called it, the most ugly dress he has seen. Sold for $148 in 12 hours. Could have gotten more as it was a, a reformation, reformation dress? I don't know how to say it. But it sold on Poshmark for $145. Purchased from the Goodwill for a dollar. Sold in 10 minutes, you guys. $299 plus shipping. Did not take an offer. It is a 2021 Jelly Cat Fergus the Frog 13 inch plush stuffed animal, rare and hard to find. It's a 2021, it's not even vintage, you guys, and it sold in 10 minutes. That's crazy. Sold just now, bought on Sunday for $7.99 at St. Vinny's Thrift Store. Uh, looks like it is a Medi Rub Plus Body Massager, sold for $79.99 plus shipping. Oh, I'm sorry, free shipping. How much did it cost you to ship? Mine is heavy. Medium flat rate box, 14. Okay, paid 22 and less than five minutes after listing, it sold for $125. Uh, Lee Smith Moon and Stars Dark Blue Fairy Lamp. That's what it looks like. Bought it in an antique store. Got this cleaning out of family member's estate. Paid zero and sold it for... Sold it on a 24-hour auction for $1,851. Wow. 1991 first Savorsky. So I always say that one wrong too. Sorry, guys. Star Christmas ornament. Rare. Look at it. Can you believe that? That is amazing. $1,851. Would you have known? Wow. Some things just make you go, wow. Wow. Uh, bought at a garage sale for a dollar, sold in a couple hours for asking price, only had the stylus, no cartridge. It is a Sure V15 Type M 
VMR Phono Stylus. Sold for $249.99 plus shipping. Paid $2 in an estate sale. Listed it the day after I bought it and sold in three or four hours for a best offer of 50. Vintage 60s Izod Lacoste cardigan sweater with the alligator emblem. Nice little vintage clothing item for you. I found these at a yard sale in a gallon baggie with other older toys. The bright colors jumped out at me. I was going to keep them for myself until I researched them. They are cardboard candy containers from 1938. They are doughboys from different countries. I paid a dollar for the whole bag and these sold for 200. Um, my Marshalls clearance rack. So you guys, if you don't know, there's TJ Maxx and Marshalls. Um, paid $20. Sold within a few days. Sold three sweaters so far in just a couple weeks coming out of sweater season. We'll have the rest out next fall. And once I saw what was selling, I went back and bought more of those that sold fast if they had any. Scored two more of these on my return trip and they were marked down to $10 each. Sold it on Poshmark for $85. Yeah, I don't see a brand. It's a cardigan style, belted. So I'll show you guys the picture. I apologize. Maybe they will watch the video and they'll put it in the comments, okay? Sold in four hours. Uh, vintage Japanese Hakata. Oh, you're a Saki fortune teller man at desk doll. Figure rare read. Paid $5.99 at a non-profit thrift store because it looked interesting. I lagged on listing it because there's tons of these types of figures listed on eBay and mine had a big flaw. It was repaired quite sloppily on its legs. Someone had listed theirs for 100, so I listed mine for 100 too. I took a best offer within four hours. It sold for $60 plus shipping. I was really happy and surprised that I got a great positive feedback. They said something like way better than the description. So I guess sometimes we think things are, you know, not great, but somebody else is thrilled to have it. So Whoops, I thought I was done. There's some more here. Found in a box of books that I rescued from a dumpster. Paid nothing for it. Sold in five days for buy it now. Asking price of $59.95. It's a pocket guide to the Empire. And it's uh, Inverons Elder Scrolls. I don't know, 2006, rare. Vintage Masoni sweater, free from an estate sale. Accepted an offer for $55 in six days. Sold these, um, sold this Figs FIGS scrub set last night within 30 minutes of listing. Scrubs. Something happened last spring with Lily Pulitzer one piece bathing suit. Huh? Oh, same thing happened. Paid seven and sold for 45 on Poshmark. There it is. I think she's just saying like it was kind of a random weird thing to sell quick. Picked up at a free sale in December, listed for $80, got at least six offers within the first few hours, took the first original offer for 70 about 12 hours later. Not in great shape, so it sold a little lower than others. Vintage Ralph Lauren is great, and it sold on Mercari for $70. If I find vintage Ralph Lauren, I am auction style on eBay because there is a huge following for vintage Ralph Lauren. And, um, a lot of times those items will get lots of bids. I am definitely not an expert in that area. That is why I would do an auction. This seller may have researched it and looked at comps and for this exact item, that may have been where the market was standing for this item. But just a little tip, if you do find vintage Ralph Lauren, I would do an auction. Start it high, you know, that way you don't um, lose money. Found at the Goodwill bins, paid approximately $2 for it, got a best offer of $175. Need to find more of these. Canyon, Vintage Canyon Group Women's White Chanel Coffee Cups Robe. How cool is that? Um, took six days to sell. And it sold for $175.99. So you guys, this is Chanel. Is it Chanel or Chanel? I don't know. I think it's Chanel. But they also make blankets. And those are a bolo also. Not this brand, but the Chanel or Chanel blankets. Uh, Yard Sales and Dreams, who is a Bolo Buddies member, did a video on those. And I will pop that up here. So this is my stack of vintage bedspreads. But when you look at this stack of bedspreads, you should see anywhere from $500 to $1,000 profit if you're at an estate sale or a yard sale. 
pick these things up every time, guys. Could you imagine having this in your bedroom? That's pretty loud. I like it, though. This one's a little more subtle, selling at $2.99. And when these things uh, say chenille, they feel a little bit different than what they uh, market chenille as today. These are cotton bedspreads with cotton tufting. So what you see um, in the market today for chenille, it's very soft and it's very synthetic. They, these are all cotton. Um, the ones that I have are all cotton as well. So they just feel much different than the chenille from today. Look at those hearts. Isn't that beautiful? I have a bunch of these old recordable VHS with NASCAR races on them, recorded in the late 90s, early 2000s. They go within a couple days. I list them in lots of three or four, and they go for around 10 to 12 each. Here's a lot that sold for 12. So I don't know if there's rules for uh, selling. Here's another lot that went for 60. Selling things that are recorded over... Um, definitely look into it. I know that people sell them all the time, but again, I don't know. So just do your research. Found this at my local thrift store for a dollar. Wow, what a flip. Took about a week to sell. Vintage 1984 Rare Braun AGET 65. It's a calculator. It's a calculator. Sold for $150. All right. Sold within 24 hours of listing. Paid $86. Um, I don't know where they got it. They did not mention that, but what on earth? It sold for 377. Look at that, you guys. World of Warcraft. Um, it's a statue. That's crazy. Okay, sold in four days, paid four dollars each, purchased from a corner market. It says uh Vidal, Vidal, Vidal Sassoon. Um, it looks like it is moisture lock shampoo, you guys, and it sold for $89.99 plus shipping. I think I've got a couple more here. Sold in 18 minutes for full asking price. I paid two bucks. It is a lift carbon fiber full brim hard hat. Sold for $79.99. Got it at the Goodwill bins. This one sold in three days. Yes, it's just the box and styrofoam. Literally found it in a dumpster when diving for boxes. And it sold for $89 free shipping. It is a Nintendo NES system box with styrofoam. Just the box. Thank you for being here. Thank you for watching. If you are not in my Facebook group, definitely check it out. If you would like to share a bolo, there are three posts under the announcements featured section. So go check it out. It is free to share a bolo. Again, you will not be mentioned. So it's completely private. You'll just get to see your bolo pop up. Um, if you want a shout out for your eBay store or your YouTube channel, you can join memberships. There's a join button down below. You have to be at level two bolo bolo to get the shout out. All right, you guys, thanks for being here. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. If you hit that bell, you will get notifications when I post new videos. This is part three. So if you would like to check out part one and two, definitely go and check those out. Awesome bolo items. Thanks for watching. Be sure to check out the description of the video. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.